Football fans, you're a part of history tonight, obviously, here, the college football's biggest ever. And this game tonight, David McGee, is what, what dreams are made of. This facility was a dream come true. It was drawn up on a napkin all the way back in the early 1960s. We see now as the world's last great coliseum. So from there, we fast forward to 20 years ago. Some guys sitting around the table saying, you know, what if we could bring a football game to Bristol Motor Speedway? Tell me about it. And it really goes back to 1961. It goes back to the very first football game that was held here. It was an exhibition game between the Redskins and the Philadelphia Eagles. The Eagles won. Uh, it was part of the original concept for the facility. But it didn't draw very many people. There are probably more people working this event than attended that game. Well, you come forward, to, as you say, 20 years ago, Bruton Smith had purchased Bristol Motor Speedway. Jeff Bird came on as the general manager. And one of the things that Jay Bird said was when he got up to this area, he was originally from North Carolina, he said all the cars have threes and Ts. Well, guess what? He, he said that to Bruton, and they're sitting around the table. They saw the photograph of that old football field in the middle of the stadium, and, and Bruton said, well, what if we had a football game? Huh. What if all these Tennessee fans would come here? Well, when they bought the racetrack, when SMI bought the racetrack, you had 65,000, 70,000 seats. Now we have 160,000 seats. And now, 20 years later, we have the Pilot Flying J battle at Bristol. Absolutely. Of course, this football game is going to eclipse the current attendance record for college football, over 115,000. Sounds big. It is big. Back on September of 2013, when Notre Dame met Michigan in Michigan Stadium at the Big House in Ann Arbor. Tonight, we're going to blow that out of the water. 115,000 then, and a whole bunch more here tonight at the world's last great Coliseum, Bristol Motor Speedway. And the really amazing thing is just a couple – you see race cars on the track – we had race cars on the track competing two weeks ago. Uh, and in the time since then, the staff here and a lot of other folks have been part of it have converted this from the premier NASCAR facility in the country to what is going to be the premier football facility in the country. It is absolutely, utterly amazing. We wrapped up the Bass Pro Shop NRA night race with Kevin Harvick bringing home the checkers on that Sunday evening. And then right after that early Monday morning, in came over 400 dump trucks of material. Uh, 360,000 pounds of material down on the field with the artificial surface. And, again, they had to raise the infield some three feet to where we see it now from where it was at the end of the race. So uh, this has been a, uh, a huge undertaking with the staff here at Bristol Motor Speedway in conjunction with the University of Tennessee and Virginia Tech. A lot of folks have made this happen, and, and voila. Here we see tonight a racetrack converted into the world's biggest college football game ever. And... We're going to be treated to a great football game tonight and a great facility to watch it in. No question about that. It's, it's really amazing. When you, when you look at the facility that we have in front of us, where the football field is, well, that, that's the garage area on race weekends. The, the theater, the stage, is the racetrack. It's where the cars are parked up here in, in between one and two, in between turns three and four. But now the lights come on to what was the garage area two and a half weeks ago, and now the field for the Pilot Flying J Battle at Bristol. College football's biggest ever. We thank you for being here on behalf of Executive Vice President and General Manager Jerry Caldwell and the entire staff here at Bristol Motor Speedway. Been putting in a lot of long hours in case, some cases working 24-7 around the clock to get it from a racetrack to a football stadium. And we are so pleased for you to be here tonight. You're going to be treated to a great football game between a backyard rivalry, both cities a little over 100 miles away from Bristol, Knoxville, Tennessee, and Blacksburg, Virginia. The Volunteers and the Hokies, and we're sitting on a we're sitting on go for a barn burner tonight. No question about that. The the fans arrived early, and there's a lot of them. 